Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey into the shadows, where myths and reality blur. Today, we delve into the chilling legend of a creature that has haunted the imaginations of many across the Americas. Join us as we explore the origins, sightings, and theories surrounding this enigmatic beast. This is the story of the Chupacabra. Our story begins in the 1990s on the island of Puerto Rico, where the first reports of the chupacabra emerged. The name chupacabra translates to goat sucker, a fitting title given the creature's alleged penchant for draining the blood of livestock, leaving behind a trail of mysterious and gruesome deaths. Farmers awoke to find their animals lifeless, puncture wounds on their necks, and not a drop of blood in sight. Was this the work of a new predator or something more sinister? Back in 203, they had three little pigs in the farm, and uh, they, were, they showed bite marks, and they were all dead in a straight line. Right. And they are still trying to investigate what happened that day. Okay. And what was the nature of the bite marks? What were they like? Puedes describir cómo eran las mordeduras. Era como un roto y un solo roto o eran varios 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 rotos bueno en parte tenía uno acá o sea eran los rotos separados okay what the pig showed was a punctures puncture wounds all around the body but they were separated unlike the usual uh, bite that a dog uh, makes okay and what happened after the pigs were found? Was there a follow-up investigation of any sort? ¿Qué pasó después que se reportó que los cerditos habían muerto? <clears throat> okay, esto. Aquí vino una gente, inclusive del zoológico Mayagüez, vinieron los de recursos naturales, hicieron una investigación, vinieron unos biólogos. Estuvieron por ahí, pero esto no 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 llegaron a nada. Estuvieron unos días metidos aquí de noche con con rifles de darlo, eh, cámaras infrarrojas, pues, nada. What happened was that uh, people from the government and from the uh, zoo of Mayagüez and other agencies came to the area with infrared cameras and weapons and dart guns mm -hmm. and they stayed overnight trying to see if they could see or capture the creature that attacked the pigs. Okay. But uh, as far as he know, there were no conclusions or they d never explained what happened in his farm. All right. Was it, were there any ideas or suggestions or theories as to what might have done it? Or was it left completely unexplained? Eh, se llegó a hacer alguna teoría, alguna posible explicación de que pudo haber causado las mutilaciones. Hasta el, hasta el sol de hoy como tal no, no me han dado ninguna explicación de parte de la agencia del gobierno. Uh, no government agencies, not even, they, they didn't even give a theory mm -hmm. or any kind of explanation of what caused mm -hmm. this massacre of animals. Okay. And does he have any opinion himself as to what may have done it or what may not have done it? ¿Y cuál es tu opinión personal? ¿Qué fue bajo tus conceptos que pudo haber causado este tipo de ataque? Solamente que dicen el, el, lo del chupacabra, pero eso hasta el sueldo no sabemos qué es. What he's saying that, well, the only thing that I can say is that maybe it was what we call the chupacabras, mm -hmm. but I cannot ascertain that the chupacabras mm -hmm. made the mutilations. Descriptions of the chupacabra vary widely, adding to its mystique. Some describe it as a reptilian creature with spikes down its back, while others claim it resembles a hairless dog or a mangy wolf. Despite the differences, one thing remains constant, the fear it instills. In recent years, DNA analysis has shed light on some chupacabra claims, often revealing them to be misidentified animals. Yet, the legend persists, a testament to our fascination with the unknown. 
whether a creature of flesh and blood or a figment of our collective imagination, the chupacabra continues to captivate. It serves as a reminder of the mysteries that lie just beyond the reach of our understanding, waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this eerie exploration. Until next time, keep your eyes open, for you never know what lurks in the shadows. If you enjoyed this presentation, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay creepy.